crafty friends it's emily and today i'm actually going to be doing a scrapbook layout of this photo of my dog and george and i and i love this photo i've had it for a long time and i have this 49 in market paper that already has some nice like mixed media look to it and i'm just going to add a little bit more mixed media to it so here I'm just trimming my photo down. I'm leaving a little bit of a white frame around the corners here, which I like. And I'm going to trim the strip off my back paper here. 49 and Market Paper is great to use with mixed media because it's nice and thick. So now here I'm just kind of trying to see. I think I want to try to do the center. I have this texture paste and some reinker from Catherine Pooler. So now I'm just marking off my photo so I can tell where I want to put my texture paste. This is actually a crackle paste from Ranger. So I'm going to grab some here, and I'm using my Wendy Vecchi uh, Maker's Art, um, the Magnetic Stay Station is what it's called, and I have some Bay Breeze Reinker, and I'm just putting a drop in just to see how that looks. So I'm going to show you, I'm just going to mix it in with the Crackle Paste. So if you've never used Crackle Paste before, it's this really cool texture paste, um, and I'm gonna, I have my corners there where I'm going to put it down, and once it dries, it's going to look all crackly. So I thought this would look perfect with my picture and look kind of like snow and ice. So I'm loving this. I'm just going around those corners where I put my pencil marks, and I don't really care if it's super smooth. I decided I wanted to add a little bit more Bay Breeze um, to my texture paste to get another shade of a different color. So I'm kind of using a monochromatic theme where you're using one color, but you're doing different shades. Um, and this is super fun because you get all these different textures. So this looks super cool. I love this really almost like a turquoise here. It's a little bit deeper blue than the lighter blue we had. So I'm just putting some on the bottom and on the top and almost purposely adding some texture here, but it is going to start to crackle. So now I can just add in my photo and just make sure, yep, that looks pretty good to me. And then I just clean this off with some water. So now I'm adding a little bit of sparkles onto my um, crackle paste before it dries because I just thought that would look really pretty with like the snow effect I'm kind of going for. So add some of that in there in a little bit of the Tim Holtz rock candy. So I just felt like it would be a nice little effect at the end. And I do have some things here from Vicki Booten's line, the Discover Create. I have these really cute frames and the super cute hearts. Um, and then I also have from my stash, this 49 and Market, um, some of these really great envelope templates and whatnot that you can use as a background. So I'm gonna do that today. So I wanted to show you, this is obviously gonna take a while to dry here. So I'm gonna use my heat tool and just going through and then I'm going to show you look how cool this is starting to crack um, so it's going to end up looking just very textured a lot of little little cracks and big cracks and then I'm also heat drying the back to try to level it out so you can see all these cracked pieces here and it's already actually dry um, very cool all these different the different texture elements looks just like I wanted kind of like snow and I could have kept it white even but I really liked the effect of adding in a little bit of ink to make it your own color you could do that with any re any reinker you have. Um, and here I'm just kind of placing around my stuff for my layout. Um, I know I want these three envelopes as my background, but I decided I needed a little more on my background. So usually you would stencil on, you know, before you do anything else. But here I'm just going through all these discover create good goodies that I have. <laughs> but first I'm going to stencil on this heart pattern which is actually a Vicky Booten stencil it's an older one that I have please ignore the mess of my stencil I did not clean it off after using <laughs> some lunar paste but it still works fine and I probably could take some time and clean that off but it's not getting on my um it's not rubbing off or anything the purple so it looks good I'm really loving this new like effect on the corners here I feel like it draws your eye even deeper and so now I have this spe Spectrum Noir um, paint pen and I'm just flicking it onto my paper. I love doing this instead of using paint. It has this great effect. And then I do have some Distress Mica that I just had to spray and some silver. So that gives it a really slight subtle um, shimmer you can see there. So my background's looking really good. I like that. Now I can go back to... Um, I just love that pen. You can just splatter it and it works really well. So now I can go back to kind of framing my pieces here and figuring out where I want everything. I really like these three pieces, I know for sure. And I think that that picture will look perfect on that bigger envelope. And I like this frame behind it. So I'm just going to glue this onto this little smaller envelope here because I know I want that there. So that looks great. 
And then I think the hardest part for me for scrapbooking um, is remembering where you put everything in place, right? So, so now I just have some over coffee ink and I have a nice new brush because I didn't have one for my browns. Um, and I'm just distressing a little bit of the edges. I'm just inking the edges um, a little bit more with these envelopes. I just felt like it added a little nice um, distress technique here. So I'm going through all the edges. Um, I really love these envelopes. They just have a lot of um, texture and different words and sayings and whatnot on them and really vintage vibe. So there we go. That looks cool. So now I'm just kind of placing my things about. I think I'm going to glue down my envelope first and then I have a little empty hole here where you can see a little bit of the gray in between the blue and I didn't really want that. So probably going to rip that piece off and put it there. And now I'm just applying my corners here with some cherry tape. So this, um, the cherry tape is a nice adhesive because it will be fine on that uh, mixed media portion. So I think I'm going to put this part of the ripped envelope. I'm just kind of lining it up with where my picture is. I know for sure I want this one on the left side. Um, another hard part of using mixed media is that you kind of cover up some of the work you do, right? But it, but you always want that layering effect. Um, I love using something like texture paste um, with the stencils. It just adds a really beautiful effect. And another good point to note is that we did use that Bay Breeze reinker in the crackle paste and the Bay Breeze ink on the heart stencil, and that looks quite different from each one. So now I'm just applying my main piece here, my picture of George and I with a um, little bit of foam dots. So it looks great. So this is kind of the base. And I had this sticker I really liked. It's called Field Notes because we were in a field. <laughs> And then this word delight I thought looked really pretty because it um, kind of adds to that gray background. I felt like the blue was a little too different of a blue color than my actual layout. And then I can't forget my hearts, of course. So those look awesome. And I'm just going to try to glue down my delight. I think I do like it on the blue here. Um, I'm going to put glue all over my words. And it is, it will... Um, it, it stays on here. I, I like to put it more on the paper and then the GHT part. It does stick um, a little bit to the crackle paste, but just make sure you have it glued down nice and well. And then here I'm trying to figure out where I want my hearts and I feel like I want a little bit more. So I'm grabbing some more goodies from the Discover Create collection from Vicki Booten. I really like this Let's Get Lost. I feel like that's a cute saying for this photo. So just kind of going about and placing things where I like them. Things usually look good in clusters, so I'm trying to see if I can cluster this heart with the Let's Get Lost ephemera. Um, I've learned that when things are touching, you know, it, it actually it makes it look a little bit better. So I found this sticker that says Remember, and it's black. I liked the black that matched the frame and the gold. And so it inspired me to put this down with some foam right next to it, and then I think I'm going to glue this heart down right um, with it but actually I decided to use foam tape on my hearts because I feel like um, I just felt like it would one stick better and also just add a little bit of dimension onto something that already has pretty good dimension but I don't know it just adds a little bit of a pop I really like the way this looks so just adding some cherry foam tape and that heart looks great over there on the right side and for a final touch I have some new honeybee gems these are the pearls and I'm adding in that beautiful blue of course because it pretty much matches the bay breeze um, turquoisey blue color we used and then i noticed that i have some gold and i also did kind of like a silver with the um, distressed mica and the gray so i added a little bit of silver dots as well as the gold ones oops one fell right there i'll just put it up here there we go <laughs> plus i felt like that circle needed a little bit more and that looks fantastic. So here's our pretty background. You can see all that crackling. Now look at all the little bitty cracks. It looks great. And then all those little gems in that empty space there. It looks awesome. And there's that picture of me and Georgie. So that looks pretty cool. Have you guys ever used crackle paste before? Go ahead and give it a try. Thanks so much for watching.